new sound for sports in the Bay Area is 95.7 The Game. Hey, I'm Bob Farr coming to you from 95.7 The Game, and I want to talk about the upcoming MLB season. Now, there's all this talk, I don't know about you guys, but I'm sick and tired of turning the TV on and hearing all this Angels, Dodgers, they spend all this money, and for that reason, they've got it in the bag. History shows that that doesn't work all the time. Yeah, I would say, is Bob, get as specific as you can. You're, you're, take, you're telling me why the Dodgers aren't going to do it. I know what history says, and it's all good, I'll listen to it, but you also, also tell me, which of those contracts is the one that you hate the most? <laughs> Give me, you know, tell me, is it Hanley Ramirez, you don't believe in him? Is it that there's no way Granky can live up to the money? Up? There's got to be something in there that's driving you nuts that you okay. want to tell me. Okay, right. Hit me with that. Give me that reason to stay on. All right. I liked it. In a little bit about who the MVP of the Oakland Athletics is going to be. It's going to be the guy that you don't know. Nakagama, the import from Japan, the shortstop. Here's why. Over in Japan, he owned a career line of 310, 381 on base, and a 474 slugging percentage, and an 856 on uh, OPS. Getting up there, you spurred at the beginning, and I can tell you the wheels were spinning the whole time, but uh, Nakajima, you lose all credibility, in particular when that's your subject, and you're saying it five, six times. Just can't do it. Thanks. We're here live with 95.7 The Game, the Bay Area's new sound for sports, the Honorable Sideshow presiding. It's time for one of those always unpredictable Sideshow random rants. And this rant goes out to all you collegiate student athletes, especially you football and basketball players who live in constant fear of losing your scholarship due to injury or underperformance. You guys are being used. NCAA and Division I colleges should be forced to offer multi-year scholarships with academic fallbacks, especially in case of an injury. Come on. Division one schools. First of all, when a guy goes up there in character name, I'm all I'm waiting to kill him. I can't. That was damn good. That was entertaining. Great intro. You know, the only thing I would tell you, remember, if you're on the air for three hours, that act is not going to work. you got to break it up. you got to be able to take me through some emotional journey, bring the energy down. But for 90 seconds, that, I love the part. Stage lockout by college athletes, you made me think. That was really damn good. Johnny Rally here for 95.7 The Game. I've got questions. Basically one question. What are you doing? I say this to my kids all the time. I've got teenagers at home. I gotta ask them, what are you doing? They try to explain it. I'm like, oh, I kind of get it. But I love all my sports teams here in the Bay Area. They're like my kids. I love them. Some of them are up, some of them are down. But I gotta love my teams. They're where I'm from here. But I gotta say, what are you doing? I do not know what you're doing. <laughs> To answer the question, uh, you nullified your own shtick. I mean, you, if you decide to go down that path, go. But you can't then turn around and tell me the Giants, they don't have to answer that question. Just stick to the ones that you really want to know about. There's got to be more blunders than just the fourth, you know, the fourth quarter, the last few downs of the Super Bowl. We only had 90 seconds. Hey, I got you. But you can hit a few. Don't, don't spend time telling me why the Giants are exempt from the shtick that you're putting on. Now, there's all this talk, I don't know about you guys, but I'm sick and tired of turning the TV on and hearing all this Angels, Dodgers, they spend all this money, and for that reason, they've got it in the bag. History shows that that doesn't work all the time. If you think about it, chemistry's more important, and it's a disrespect to Billy Bean and Brian Sabian who've got it figured out. It's not how much you spend, it's what you spend it on. Now, Bob, it's a great argument. I totally agree with your stance. You brought good examples. The Yanks, the Marlins, the Lakers, circled around, drove home your point at the end. I liked it. It was good. The NFL needs to make a change. They need to give the defenses a chance to resist these high potent offenses of today's game. There's every year they make rules to benefit the offense. Let's give something back to the defense. And I have a couple of suggestions. My first suggestion, pass interference needs to be a flat either 10 or 15 yard penalty. This 50 yard penalty is garbage, okay? Nobody wants to watch it. Uh, and I, I recall you doing this last week, but I think it was much better this week. Uh, first of all, definitive right out of the gate. The NFL needs to make a change. Here's what they need to do. Yep. Um, you got into what your solution was with pass interference. You talked about nobody wants to watch the refs dominate the game. Love the line of Gruden in there. 
Um, the only thing I would tell you is by the time you got to your second point, you only had 15 seconds left, and I know you probably have a third point there, and I'm, I'm sitting here going, you know what, that's a good point. You made me want another 90 seconds. Well, let's go sound. sound for sports in the Bay Area is 95.7 The Game.